And Stamford Bridge is the venue on a very pleasant day for football here in West London. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Chelsea and they take on Norwich City. Well Derek, when looking forward to this game you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Thiago Silva plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. And Goro Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And Timo Werner starts alongside Romano Lukaku. And here's the Norwich City starting 11. Well, it's a flat 4-5-1, which would suggest they're going to try and play on the counter-attack. However, that will only work if they don't drop too deep and can't support the main striker. day for football here in West London. My name is Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson and it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Chelsea and they take on Norwich City. Well Derek as is always the case the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game and that for me is the area that's key today. Lukaku! Wonderful block. Well, threat averted. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Jorginho plays with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. Derek, they must finish here. In search of space. Teammate in support. This looks promising. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Well, the attack finally comes to nothing and the keeper has it. Jorginho Mount Nicely timed tackle oh, Showing excellent vision Romero Lukaku, a player who opposing defenders have simply got to keep tabs on Stuart, you would expect he'll have something to say for himself here Well Derek, he's a great all-round player But it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores Every pass hitting its target. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Havertz. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Les Melou. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Possession given away, unfortunately. Good-looking move, this. And the keeper will happily collect that one.
Rudiger. Mount. Real chance. And it goes down as a missed opportunity from there. Les Melou. Lucas Roup. Puki. Well, racing past his man. The inside route looks promising. And a very good challenge. Well, it's been quite clear that Chelsea have been second best in terms of possession. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Could cross it in here. Lukaku. Now Conte. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out any sign of danger. Playing it short. Oh, good save. defensive commitment there taking it forward now Lukaku and that puts them in position not all that convincing defensively and a goal to increase their advantage to two overall that little bit of a cushion now it's all about keeping the concentration well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play, offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. Well, a second goal for them here. And well, they know they need to stop him. Electing to cross into the centre. Plattered away. Les Malou. Credit to them for winning back possession. Lukaku. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Well, not hard to read that pass. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. Well, a real pace merchant and a club. <laughs> Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Yanoulis. Grant Hanley with it. Ben Gibson. Now with Lemelu. Very quick thinking there. Havertz. Getting forward. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Breaking at pace. Mali prevented it from going over the line. Cantwell. Oh, showing excellent vision and possession given away denied by the bar back in play here well how did that not go in it was a great effort you have to say and Chelsea have given us away going well Pukki keeping possession of the ball with authority and the referee has pointed to the spot penalty given well he's avoided a booking but the complaints continue and I can understand why I think it's a poor foul it should be a yellow card for me for so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture this to pull one back 
And a timely penalty save. Well, there's the confirmation. That was nowhere near to crossing the line, was it? And over it comes. It hasn't come to very much. Could reduce the deficit. And he does. There is hope for them, despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, two one it is here. N'Golo Conte. Conte. Werner. And able to get a body in the way. Well, as those stats tell us, Norwich have controlled much of the possession, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. And the ball's gone. Cantwell. Les Melou. Are getting the ball forward. And threading it forward. Clean challenge. Good thing from his point of view. This could square the game. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Well, that'll be a corner. A goal here would really change the complexion of this match. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. They need to get bodies back. Space and time for the cross. Well, it's a long way off target, you've got to say. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Les Melou. A creative look about this. And a chance to level it. Oh dear, oh dear. Opportunity squandered, Stuart. Well, what a chance that was for the equaliser. You don't get too many better than that. Kai Havertz. Havertz. No good vision, but ably intercepted when it looked as though they might be in. Les Melou. Oh, that's a fine pass. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. It's a neat move. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. For Chelsea, coming off the pitch. Number 29, Kai Havertz, to be replaced by number 8, Mateo Kovacic. Mateo Kovacic. Five minutes left. Well, couldn't keep it. McLean. That's Rashica on the ball. Sargent. And the verdict of the officials is offside. Well, he just gets caught ball watching here. Needs to be more alive, work harder to keep onside, and be ready for the chance. Now the electronic board showing three additional minutes. And just couldn't keep the ball. Todd Cantwell. Rashica. They're showing a willingness to attack as they must given the circumstances, time running out and still trying to get the shot off oh a goal an equaliser in the closing stages
Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. And with that, the 90 minutes have come to an end, an even contest.